The chair of the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee announces the result of its probe on the pork barrel scam hearings. Senator T.G. Gangona says he's, his report recommends the filing of plunder charges against three senators, former heads of government agencies, and the alleged mastermind of the corruption scandal. Ayi Makaraig reports. After months of denial, mudslinging, and counter allegations. It's more fun outside the Philippines. The Senate probe into the pork barrel scam reaches a conclusion. In a surprise move, Senate Blue Ribbon Committee Chairman T.G. Gingona releases his report into the biggest corruption scandal in recent history. Natuklasan natin na ang pera ng bayan na ang pera ng bayan na pagplanuhan may ginawang plano may ginawang plano at para mapatupad yung plano nagkaroon ng sabuatan the chairman says the accused orchestrated an elaborate scheme to channel development funds to fake napolis ngos and split the loot Another sign of sophistication is that they have a voucher system to prove that the lawmakers have in fact received their kickbacks. May color coding pa. White, yung para sa original ledger ng mambabatas. Yellow, para sa accounting. Yun kay Ben Herlo yun. At yung pink voucher, para sa lawmaker. So nakita natin, grabe talaga ang nangyari pinagplanuhan pinagkaisahan at pinagpasasaan It's a double whammy for the three senators with the ombudsman announcing the same findings just minutes after Gingona's press briefing Estrada says the timing is sinister <coughs> Clearly kami po ang pinagplanuhan pinagkaisahan at naging biktima na sa buwatan dito para lamang magpapogi ang imahe ng ilan it is a very, very well synchronized April Fool's Day operation. Estrada reiterates his colleagues prejudged and used the investigation for their political plans in 2016. Revilla's lawyer says he will appeal the ombudsman decision. But for some senators, the findings are controversial but necessary. Dapat ang ikaso sa kanila kung anong pinakamataas in terms of both the crime and penalty. Because you cannot set an example kung ibe-baby mo yung mga kasama mo just because kasama mo sila. Uh, mabigat talaga yung haharapin ng tatlo kasi uh, hindi nila mapaliwanag bakit ganong kalaking pondo ang paulit-ulit na nilagay sa mga foundations and then hindi naman dumating sa mga beneficiaries. Let justice be done though the heavens fall. Other senators will get a copy of the report for their endorsement. But beyond Senate politics, the filing of plunder cases is a step to ensure that thieves do not escape accountability even if they sit in this high office. Ayi Makraig, Grappler. Senate President Frank Grillon, though, clarifies the report is not an official Blue Ribbon Committee report. It isn't official yet. At this point, he says it's only a recommendation of Senator Gingona. Grillon says the signature of a majority of the members is needed to make this official. Some senators, like Coco Pimentel and Bam Aquino, say they neither saw nor signed the report before Gingona's press conference. Senator Nancy Binay criticized Gingona's move, saying he should have consulted the committee members before announcing the results of the probe. 